Oh, it's filming right now. Guys, how do you like my winter beard? I'm preparing for the finished winter. As well, happy new year to you guys. 2019 is finally here. I'm so excited about this year. I know there hasn't been videos being posted up lately and the reason for that is I decided to take a little bit of a holiday with my family and friends. So, so sorry about that, but I decided to be a little bit selfish and take care of myself. But boy oh boy, am I excited for 2019. So many good things are in store. But before we jump into 2019, I wanna jump back into 2018 and go over all the things that happened in 2018. <music> Twenty eighteen was really a year of putting our roots down. We had been living in Australia for two years, and we finally decided to move back to Finland. In some ways, it was kind of scary going back to Finland, even though it's familiar and it's home. But we really had to put our roots down again, and we had no clue how things were going to work out. But the year started off. We bought a car. We bought a home. We started getting our home ready, and everything just took off so quickly. You know, the first few months, a lot of our time went to just getting their house ready. A lot of buying furniture, building furniture, and bringing the boxes back. But soon, our home was ready, we were loving it, and then the work season begun. My first trip was in March to Australia. I know, crazy, only three months after moving from Australia, I got to go back and visit. And it was so nice to see all my friends there. I was able to share a really rad wedding. And I was able to make, as well, new friends and meet my friend Matthew Vanderput and we did an amazing video about time lapses on our YouTube channel. Then in April, I got to go away on a weekend with my wife to Paris. Romantic, lovely weekend, it was great. We ate a lot, we went to the Louvre, we went and had picnics under the Eiffel Tower. It was just an overall great time with my wife. And from there, the wedding season begun in full swing, and it was pretty hectic. In May, I left for a six week trip, two weeks in Canada, two weeks in the US, and two weeks in Italy every weekend shooting weddings, and it was pretty crazy. We started off in Toronto, spending time with some family. We were at the cottage, and then from there, we left from Toronto to Nashville, to Myrtle Beach, to Washington DC, to New York City. We spent the weekend in New York City, went to the theater, went to the Rockefeller Center, had some great food, drove over to Pittsburgh, shot another wedding, and then back to Toronto, and then from there, flew to Finland, flew to Italy, shot some weddings in Italy, spent some time on the Malfi Coast, having some scooter adventures, enjoying a little mini holiday with my wife again. But it was crazy. Six weeks, three different countries, six weddings. It was jam-packed. Then as I got back to Finland, it didn't get any slower as I had weddings every single weekend. Luckily, I got a little bit of a getaway in July and I was able to jump over to Norway and go to Lofoten with my brother and as well our new friends Marcus and Kim and we had just an amazing time hiking and exploring Lofoten. Then, as the summer was coming to a close, we had one last trip to Switzerland, and there, we got to meet our new friend Leon, and we went on this amazing trip with Mazda. We drove the mountains of Switzerland, and we slept in the most epic glass cube with the view of the mountains and just this river going there. It was insane, that was an amazing trip. I wanna thank you, Leon, for that. Fall was all about catch up. I literally had a backup of probably 14 weddings to edit. So you can imagine, I was probably waking up every day at 6 a.m., editing till 6 p.m., going back to sleep, editing all day long again. Luckily, all the weddings have been edited now, so I can really focus and enjoy doing this YouTube channel. In October, I was able to work on a project, working with Visit Finland, creating an artist profile of my friend Konsta Ponka. I call him the Squirrel Whisperer because he's amazing with animals. But check out some of this amazing epic footage that I got with Konsta. Mä aloitin noin kahdeksan vuotta sitten kuvaamaan oravia ja lintuja ihan harrastukseni tässä Helsingin vieressä. Ja tota, silloin en olisi ikinä uskonut, että mihin se on vienyt mut nykyään, kun mä oon päässyt kiertämään maailman eksoottisimpia paikkoja ja kuvaamaan uhanalaisia eläimiä. Usein kun ihmiset katsoo mun valokuvia netissä, ne ei taju, että kuinka paljon yhden kuvan tekemiseen menee aikaa. Siinä voi mennä viikkoja ja kuukausia, että mä saan sen yhden täydellisen potretin ketusta tai karhusta otettua. Mut sitten kun mä pystyn näyttämään ne valokuvien kautta näiden eläinten salaisen maailman ja mitä ne tekee siellä, ja sit mä näen kuinka paljon se inspiroi ihmisiä, kuinka paljon ihmiset tykkää siitä, niin se tekee tästä työstä todellakin sen vaivan arvosta. 
Mä aloitin just itse luontokuvaamisen Seurasaaressa ja mä aloin sen sijaan, että mä kuvaisin vaan useita erilaisia eläimiä. Mä aloitin tiettyjen kettujen ja tiettyjen oravien seuraamisen ja sitä kautta mä halusin luoda sellaisen luottamussuhteen mun ja sen eläimen välille, jotta mä voisin näyttää ne valokuvat paljon enemmän niin kuin ihmisläheisemmin ja tuoda esille niiden eläinten tunteita ja ajatuksia, mitä ne kokee siellä luonnossa eläessään. Usein ihmiset ajattelee, että saadakseen parhaat eläinkuvat tai maisemakuvat, niiden pitää mennä mahdollisimman kauas Helsingistä. Mutta todellisuudessa meidän ei tarvitse mennä kauas nauttiaksemme luonnosta. Vaikka mä oon päässyt matkustaa ympäri maailmaa, Seurasaari on mulle edelleen se kaikista tärkein paikka valokuvata. And to reward myself for all the hard work this year, I decided to sneak in a little surprise visit to see my family in Toronto. Knew it was a secret. <laughs> the boys couldn't keep a secret at all. And then from there, I went with my wife to Dubai. Sorry, not a lot of footage from Dubai. I literally didn't pick up the camera. So in 2018, I shot a total of 31 weddings, made 46 YouTube videos, and traveled to nine different countries. It was an insane year. So what's in store for 2019? Am I just gonna go bigger and better? I don't think I'm gonna go bigger and better. I think I'm gonna be more just start focusing on a certain direction for my company. And I think this year I'm gonna start to switch from less weddings to more to work on the YouTube channel. I've really seen the growth in this YouTube channel and the potential here, and I love the community that we've built here. I love being super positive to encourage you guys to teach you more about photography and filmmaking. So that's why this year I want to keep making amazing tutorials for you guys, but as well I want to start being more interactive with you guys. One thing that I haven't really showed yet too much is my photography side, and I have a lot of ideas coming up when it comes to reviewing your guys' photos and editing your guys' photos just to show you guys what I would do with the photos that you guys take and how to improve on them. So we're gonna make this channel a lot more interactive this year. There's gonna be even maybe live stream. I'm not sure yet, I'm thinking about it. If you guys want that, make sure you comment below. But I really want this channel to become more interactive, more of a learning experience for you guys, and just for you guys to be encouraged and to move forward in your filmmaking experience. As well, I'm working on my own photo presets right now, so make sure you keep your eyes out for that in the next month or two. So guys, that's my 2018 review. It was an amazing year. Thanks to all of you guys for so loyally following and being a part of this community. And guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the latest videos. And as well, comment below on things that you would love to see in 2019 on the channel.